Welcome to part two of the DA50RG aircraft design. Today we're going to be designing the nose and previously we designed the wing sections. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this geometrical set. Uh, just right click and go to properties and we're going to name this the wing. All right, now I'm going to insert a new geometrical set. Make sure the father is the main component here. And we're going to name this the nose. And we're going to right click on nose and define in work object. This is to ensure that any feature that we create from now on is going to the new geometrical set and not the previous one that we had. So I'm going to insert an axis system from the origin because I don't want to show the planes again. All right, there we have it. So just a recap, we plotted our wing sections in the ZX plane right here, and it is panning in the Y axis. But now we are plotting the nose, which is part of the body, and we're going to be plotting the aircraft body in the ZY plane and it is going to be spanning over the x-axis. That is, the length is along the x-axis. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the wing. And we need to select the ZY plane. And we're going to create another plane in front of it. Uh, offset negative 2020. 2020. Click OK. Uh, we're going to plot on this plane. So select the plane, plane 1, and sketch. All right. So we're going to create a circle using center and diameter. And I'm going to align my center with this vertical axis, the Z. So when you see the highlight, click on it and then just drag to select the diameter. And then while selecting the circle, you're going to enter a constraint of the diameter, which is 350. So double click on that and enter 350 millimeters. Remember, we are working on the default setting in millimeters. So if you have change to your settings you need to put them back to millimeters but if you haven't done anything that is usually the default so you know you don't need to do anything next we're going to specify the distance of this circle with the horizontal axis so i'm going to select the circle hold the control button and select the horizontal axis and then once again enter a constraint and this distance right here is going to be 800 millimeters. And that's pretty much it. So exit the workbench. You can see this icon right here for the beginners. Just exit the workbench. Next, we're going to create another plane too. So select the ZY plane again and the plane icon. Remember, this is the wireframe menu right here once again. So you can go to insert wireframe and select plane. And we're going to offset this negative 348. The negative is because I'm going in front. Once I start uh, receding backwards, the, the numbers are going to be positive. And again, select the plane and sketch. All right, so in this case, I'm going to first create a, a rectangle above the axis. 
so make sure you're plotting it above the axis and i'm just going to drag it approximately up to that point now we need to specify the dimensions i'm going to start by making it symmetrical uh, with reference to this vertical axis so just select this edge control the other edge and then this axis and select this constraint icon right here and we're going to select symmetry okay then next i'm going to because i need to add corners to this rectangle i'm not going to add length to this particular line but i can add uh, a distance between these two lines so that's what we're going to do so select this line and this line constraint and the distance is going to be 1200 double click insert 1200 millimeters and enter you're going to if you're a beginner you're going to learn this one later that if you specify the length of a line and then you're going to cap it by adding a corner it's going you need to convert it to a distance so you'd rather just create the distance between the two reference points and then once again we need to specify the width but i'm not going to add the length so i'm going to select the top length line top line and the bottom line and constrain the distance to 834 select ok uh, i need this to be above the axis i'm going to add a corner and the menu is right here or you can go to insert operation and corner and you can select this corner right there and i'm going to start by selecting this too and i need to specify the radius to 200 make sure it's the radius and we're going to select another corner to the bottom side and we're going to change that to 250 double click on the radius as you can tell you can uh, click and drag the measurements to where you want it to be 250 and I just need to mirror this to the other side so I can just uh, create an axis right here in the midpoint like so once the line goes blue that means it is straight and then again from the operations you can select quick trim and i'm going to let's double click on it so we can um, trim multiple elements at a time so i'm going to clip those out and i'm just going to select this And then again from operations, we are going to mirror that using the vertical axis, like that. I'm going to specify one last thing, and that is the distance between the top line and the horizontal axis. So I'm going to select that line, and I'm going to select the horizontal axis and I'm going to constrain that to 869 okay now we can exit the workbench
This is what we are using to create the nose. And you can see we have these uh, particular measurements here. So we're going to start by creating a circle right here at this particular distance from the main ZY plane, 220, 2020. And we're also going to create another profile here, uh, which is again offset a distance from the main main XY plane. Okay, and then we have these vertical distances here, and that is what we are going to be using. So you can always refer back to this image whenever you need some clarifications of exactly what we are doing. All right, now the next thing we need to create right here is the guides, because we need to match the original profile as much as we can. And if we just connect the two uh, profiles without guides, uh, it's going to find the nearest solution to that and it's not going to be customized to what we actually need to do. So the first guide I'm going to create is the bottom guide. So I'm going to create another plane. Select ZY and create plane. And I'm going to offset it at negative 1800. So just uh, close to the to the tip of the nose and I'm going to create a point on this plane so select the plane go to profile and select point that is wireframe um, the, ho the horizontal distance is zero and the vertical distance is 105 click OK. So we have our point right here. So we need our guide coming down this way and then joining in. So we have that one point. The next thing I'm going to do is to create another one on the same plane. Let's create another point on the same plane. So select point again on that plane and the vertical distance is still zero and the horizontal is going to be 850 so that is the point for the above Next, I need uh, to have control points on these two sketches. So I'm going to select this sketch. And again, on the wireframe, we're going to select Extremum. And the direction is the Z axis, Z component. So we have that one point above there. I need another extremum, select the same sketch, Z component, and this time select the minimum point. All right, next uh, we need to create points on this particular one, and I'm just going to create an intersection again from wireframe. And the first element is this sketch with the ZX plane. Uh, make sure you're using the current ZX plane. Select OK. So you have these two points, keep all the sub elements. Select OK. And if you look at this, we have two points as one, as intersect one. So what you need to do is disassemble them. So go to operations and select disassemble. Select intersect one, click OK. And you should have 
these two points right here. All right, now we need to create the profiles for the guides. So I'm going to create a bottom profile right here and a top profile right there. So I'm going to start by creating a line. Uh, let's tools hide all planes. I'm going to start by creating a line. I need to select this point right here. Uh, I'm going to select it from here. That's the point. And create a line from that point. The line type is point to point to this point we created here. Select OK. And another line from this point to the minimum extremum right there. Then we're going to create a corner, mm, insert, wireframe, corner. Select this line, select the second line, trim all the elements, make sure these two boxes are checked and the radius is going to be 600. Preview. Okay, the top profile I'm going to create using spline, so wireframe, spline, select this first point, and that first point we're going to make it tangent in the x direction, so tangency direction, we're going to select the x axis, and the tension is going to remain at 1. Then select the second point and the third point. Change the direction of tang tangency. So that's the profile that we have. Select OK. And now I'm going to create the multi section surface. So select multi-section surfaces. This is the first profile. This is the second profile. Make sure the closing points <clears throat> are on the same side. So in this case, we need to change this closing point. So right click on it and select replace. And we're going to select this on this side and make sure they are all facing the same direction, the same tangency direction. And then on the guides, we are going to select spline and select this corner here. Preview. There we have it. And I'll go to tools. Hide all sketches. Tools. Hide all curves. And tools. Hide all points. So this is our profile. And again for visibility, I'm going to select it and I'm going to change the color. You can right click, go to properties, graphic. And from this scroll down menu, you can select uh, a darker color so that we can be able to see the lines when we are creating. All right. Now the next step is going to be creating this particular bottom profile right here. And then we are also going to be creating these kind of uh, uh, profiles uh, on the front.